Welcome to my nighttime routine. Welcome to my nighttime routine vlog. So I know you what you might be thinking, you know, it's pretty early. It's actually 4.30 p.m. and I'm already in my pajamas. That's because I'm a fitness girly. I did a berries class this morning and then I taught two yoga classes. I'm also a yoga instructor at Core Power. So I'm exhausted and I'm ready for bed. I've been up since 6 a.m. I'm trying to get up at 5 a.m. for 5 a.m. February, so I thought why not share my little nighttime routine for my early, early, early morning? And then I figure we can just start with my skincare. Typically, my nighttime routine, which you can see here, starts with dinner, but I just feel like it's a little too early to eat right now. <laughs> so, let's get into this hair. Before we do my hair, I wanted to show you guys this outfit. How cute is it? I honestly, I got it from Amazon, so I'll put the links down below, and I just think it is so cute, like a nice flowing robe, and then the silky set came in a set of three, so I actually have a color that matches this robe, and then I have another like pinky color, so I am obsessed. Oh, and I want to change out my flowers as well. like take some time to really like take care of yourself this Valentine's Day season like I love 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 buying myself flowers and like that's not something that I used to do like I used to think it would be a waste of time or that like they just didn't count if I bought flowers for myself but girl if you don't love yourself how are you gonna love somebody else if you can't love yourself how in the hell you gonna love somebody else that's what RuPaul be saying. So seriously, like, if there's something that you've always wanted, get it for yourself. Don't wait for the guy you're dating or your boyfriend or your husband or anyone to get it for you. Another thing that I think is so, so important when it comes to like cultivating self-love and like just really being content with where you are in the moment is truly cultivating a routine that like helps you love yourself that helps you challenge yourself I think I love myself the most and I feel the most like safe and secure and who I am when I'm continuously challenging myself to be better but then also rewarding myself for being better as well I'll even take today like oh god I go out and buy myself flowers every Wednesday and that's like a way that I treat myself but I only buy myself flowers if I take my Barry's boot camp class. So then I'm like, hell yeah, girl, you're getting flowers. Like you worked hard for this, you deserve this. And sometimes even when you didn't work hard, you still deserve nice things. <laughs> but you know, like that just being able to treat myself and reward myself for pushing myself to that next level. Like one of my goals for this year is just to be healthier and stronger than the girl I was yesterday. So I love to reward myself when I do things that help me fall into that mindset. Another thing that I feel like really helps with just challenging me and getting me to be the girl that I want to be is also just like routine. Like I am in love with my skincare routine and I also use it as a way to like reward myself as well. Like I am just obsessed 
the results that I see when I know I'm on top of my skincare. It's like nature and my body is like rewarding me for being consistent and like taking care of myself, you know? And I am obsessed with this moisturizer. It smells so, so good. I think I mentioned it and um, like, I want to say it was like a day in my life, New York City vlog. I'll put the link up, even though I think this video might go live before that video, but, but don't intimidate yourself or like challenge yourself too much. Like it should be an easy, easy thing. Like I wouldn't recommend someone who barely, you know, washes their face or takes off their makeup before they go to sleep to do my like 500 step nighttime skin routine. Like let's start small. Let's just wash our face and put on some moisturizer and then go to sleep. And then once we get back down, let's wash our face, add on a serum, and then go to sleep. And then once we get back down, let's wash our face, put on some toner, do a serum, add some sunscreen. Don't challenge yourself too much. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Like your nighttime routine should be easy and it should be rewarding, like, but it should not be intimidating. One of the yoga sutras of Patanjali is actually your yoga practice should be pleasant but firm. And I feel like that's a great way to live life. Like your routines, the way you challenge yourself, it should be pleasant. Like don't do anything you don't want to do. Don't do anything um, for the sake of like grinding and for the sake of doing something and for the sake of working 50 hours a day. Do something because it's pleasant to you or it helps you become the person you want to become. But also because it's firm like it helps you ground in yourself i might be getting a little too spacey here but if you know you know <laughs> god my face is kind of red after that gua sha but i think that means it's working one thing i did realize i forgot to do was massage my scalp i am like a little paranoid that i'm balding and like thinning here so i like to just put this serum on my edges from the ordinary i'm not seeing the results that i truly want to see but i am noticing like more hair growth i'm like can we grow more hair where i feel like my hair is thinning that's the point but <laughs> i'm saying like more hair growth like around here like i feel like there's more hair that's like growing towards my eyebrows and i'm like oh well that's nice, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to have a burger and fries because you know what? Why not? Let's let's get into it. I deserve. You deserve. We deserve. <laughs> Do you guys know that meme? That's like. Anyway, I'm embarrassing myself. pages but I'm gonna turn it in anyway because I'm obsessed and I love it hopefully my professor isn't too mad um the food was done a long time ago but I just wanted to get this done before I ate so an authentically empowered person lives in love I use this cashew cheese um I'm really excited to try it it's my first time I'm not really a vegan but I just like to you know eat a little healthier every once in a while so <laughs> vegan mayo oh my god I swear to guys I'm not vegan I just don't even like regular mayo I think vegan mayo just tastes better I will use like miracle whip I do really like that but I don't even know where to get it in New York City this is what they have at Trader Joe's and I like it so so I use it.
Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good. There was a lot of things that I wanted to do before I sat down and had dinner, like my homework for psychology and communications, and my diversity and inclusion statements at the Hope Center, and I also went to get a YouTube video on today. But... Hi, Kat. <laughs> Part of being at peace, Santosha, that contentment energy, and just truly really loving yourself is acknowledging that, you know what, hey, Maybe tonight I've done all I can do and I do have the space to do more tomorrow. Also, I got the poppy pop <laughs> that I've been seeing everywhere and it's okay. It has like this really weird artificially like sugary taste that I don't like. It's also pretty flat. I don't know maybe if mine is just flat. <laughs> But I'm like, wow, I'd rather would have kombucha. <laughs> I also don't really like pop, but I'm trying not to drink wine. So this is helping. I also feel like every YouTuber ever does this. So yeah, drinking things that aren't wine inside of a wine glass. I really just don't want wine. <laughs> but it's fine. If I had wine, I would have wine, honestly. I'm not that type of like, treat yourself, girl. If you want a glass of wine, have a glass of wine. Who cares? <laughs> All right, well, let me watch Grace. Guys, I'm literally crying, like, over Izzy and Danny Duquette's love story. Like, it's so good. And I know I've seen it before, but oh my God. Shonda. Okay, so we are gearing up towards the end of the night. I've nearly finished everything on my nighttime routine checklist and it's time for one more thing. Whew. I prefer to use red lights at night. It just helps to like cue to my circadian rhythm that like it's nighttime, it's time to go to sleep. So I'm gonna turn off the other lights that I have and it's just gonna be red night lights from here on out, guys. It's <laughs> literally 7 47 but I'm so tired like I just I worked out so much today my tea is going and as soon as it's done I'm probably gonna snuggle in bed okay so it is nearly bedtime I guys it's literally 8 14 I'm tired I'm done for the day um one of the last things I do before I go to bed is practice my language. I'm currently trying to learn Igbo, which is a Nigerian language that my father speaks, and I never really learned it growing up, so I'm trying to learn it now as an adult. I use the app Drops to do it. Mabu. Mabu. Egole. Egole. I don't know. Egole. Egole. I don't know if my screen's recording though. Oh, I think it is. Okay. Isi? No. Ise? Oh, Ise. Itolu. Itolu. Nine. Itolu. Itolu. Uh, Iri? Iri. Iri. Ise. 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 I don't know. Ndudu. 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 Eerie. Eerie. <laughs> it's 
8.30 now. I set my phone to charge and actually I want to turn on the lights because I want to talk to y'all about something. We need to, we need to have a conversation. Right now, I'm reading The Silent Partner. So good. Love it so far. I'm only 20 pages in. But I had read It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us in January and y'all, y'all lied to me. These books, the hype was so astronomical and the way I was let down, the way half of these books are journal entries written to Ellen, the generous, girl who cares? I cannot believe you guys went so hard for these books. Like I, It Ends With Us was by far the better of the two. I would rate it like a 7 out of 10. Um, the English is very basic. If English is your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth language, then like you will not have a problem reading this book. But for someone who's a native English speaker, I was like, I don't know. When I like to read, I want to Google words. I want to learn a new word. If it's a professionally written book and I know all the words, I just feel like that's a problem. Like I just don't like stuff like that. So it was good. Trigger warning, if you don't like like domestic violence, there is some stuff of that in here. Um, but overall, like, would I recommend this to a friend? No, and I cannot believe y'all recommended it to me. This book is a continuation of that and it just leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, I was already disappointed by this one, but I'd already bought it. So I was like, let me just read it. And yeah, half of this book is this book. We're just reading the journal entries again from now the point of view of someone else. Why are we reading the same journal entries? Can we not get new journal entries? Like, it just seems so lazy to me. Um, but I mean, honestly, good for her. Get your bag, girl, because you literally copied and pasted this, put it in here, and like made a made a coin. I mean, honestly, she didn't have to put much work into this one. The ending was sweet. It was nice, but I did find myself staying up really late because I just wanted it to be over. Like, I did not want to spend another night reading this book. Um, but it's cute. So if you like this one more than a seven, I guess, because I... Did I give it a seven? Yeah, I think I would give it a seven. Uh, maybe a five, maybe a five and a three. I don't, it's, there was one point and I think it was this one where she was like, I don't want a ride or die friend because a ride or die person means they're not gonna tell you when you're wrong. And I'm just like, why is this white lady using like African vernacular English? Like that's not what ride or die means, but because you're now co-opting a phrase that doesn't belong to your culture and now giving it a new meaning, I'm totally not with you. And maybe that was why <laughs> I didn't like it so much. It just seemed so, ugh, it was just gross. But I take these gummies, I love them. I think they're so good. Okay guys, thanks for hanging out with me. We really did my entire nighttime routine. I think it's truly like, I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet, but I'm gonna try to wake up at five. So let's see if it happens. Today is the day. I'm going to bed like an hour earlier than usual, but I'm also very exhausted because I worked out so much. So I'll see you guys on the flip side in like five seconds. Hopefully it's 5 a.m. and I'm waking up by night and bushy tail. It's 519. I'm counting this as a success. Thank you.